So eight years ago now, I saw a 37-year-old woman for follow-up of her myasthenia gravis. That's a neurological disorder. I was her neurologist for that. And she was devastated. She just told me a few days ago she'd been given a diagnosis of a terminal cancer coming from the thymus gland, which is up here in the neck. It's a metastatic thymoma, so stage four, grade four. And this led to a case report um, where she utilized KMT as a standalone treatment. She was offered palliative chemo. Uh, surgery wasn't an option, nor was radiation. She declined that uh, after our discussion. She was thinking about it, but she declined it after we talked. And instead opted for multimodal, so fasting plus keto diet, ketogenic metabolic therapy, as a standalone treatment. So it was comprised of prolonged fast. So what happened to her at the end of two years, she maintained a very low GKI of 1.4. She lost a lot of body weight, although she's regained most of that back since. Mild adverse effects really from these long fasts, mainly fatigue, cold intolerance, body aches. She was very happy to put up with those uh, rather than put up with chemotherapy. And most importantly, the thymoma volume decreased by 96%. So those were her scans at the start and at the end of two years. There's just a sliver of this thymoma left. And she was told she was going to die by her oncologist, right? That it was palliative. So I saw her just a week ago, a couple of days before coming here. She's independent. She has a high quality of life eight years later, 